All right, Facebook announced this morning that they're going to extend Donald Trump's ban on both Facebook and Instagram until January of 2023, which at that time he'll be allowed to apply for reinstatement. This is breaking news, so I wanted to bring this to you and give you my take on how I think this could possibly affect Facebook stock. And if you stay to the end of this video, I'm also going to dive into whether or not I own shares and how I like to trade Facebook stock. So the meat of this video is going to be deep diving into Facebook just to look at its fundamentals a little bit, just to see see how it's doing, kind of checking in with the stock. And I'm also going to show you the charts and we're just going to talk overall how this could possibly affect Facebook moving forward into the future. So with that, let's dive in. All right, so before we dive into the charts, let's just talk a little bit about Facebook. I don't want to get crazy into the fundamentals, but I do like to look at numbers sometimes just to check in on maybe the, the health of a company. And for Facebook right now, its 52 week range has been between $207 and $333, and it's currently at its highs. So seeing that it's up near its all time highs and seeing the strength it's putting in today, after the announcement that they're extending the ban shows that the health of Facebook seems to be pretty good in terms of people who are motivated to buy. Now along those same lines, whenever I look at a stock, I also like to just take a peek at the short interest because in yesterday's video, and I'll post that right here with Workhorse, I didn't like that the short interest was upwards of 42%. That just tells me that we're not in that to invest. We're looking for a short squeeze, we're looking for a home run. And that's not really what I wanna be part of. So you can see right here that the short interest right now for Facebook is 1.23% of the overall float. That's very, very low, very good in my opinion. That just shows that most people are investing in the stock and trading it to the long side. Overall short float of 1%, does not indicate to me that if Facebook enters into a turbulent period of time or moves sideways that it's going to get crushed by short sellers. Then after that, I like to just quickly dive into their debt and see what their total debt is if you divide it by total capital. And if you look at this diagram right here, you'll see that Facebook operates roughly around 0.4% whereas the industry standard is about 9.22% in its vertical, which is super positive. And then if we move into talking about their profit margins, we could take a look at their operating profit margin for the trailing 12 months. And you can see for Facebook, it's 40.42%, whereas the industry standard is 24.93%. So Facebook is favorable in that category as well. Now, in terms of net profit margin for the trailing 12 months, Facebook right now is 35.74%, whereas the industry standard in its vertical is 20. 3.24% favoring Facebook yet again. Now everybody likes to talk about PE ratios, price to earning ratio, and for Facebook it's about 27.93% and the industry vertical standard or its peers tend to be more around the 34% number favoring Facebook in this category. Now in the price to sales ratio you want a lower number to be more favorable and Facebook is at 9.7 times and the industry standard is 10.05 times so again favoring Facebook. And then the last thing I want to point out with Facebook in terms of its fundamentals and then we'll move on from this is the latest earnings consensus, the latest earnings beat. So if you look at the first quarter, there was a consensus that they were gonna come out with $2.37 per share in earnings. And instead they came out with $3.30 per share of earnings, which ended up being about a 28.7% upside surprise, which is absolutely fantastic for Facebook. And again, push the stock higher. So right now we're thinking, okay, kind of a rosy picture for Facebook. Things are looking fairly good. So maybe this whole Trump ban won't have a negative effect. Maybe we can pile in and buy the stock and trade options and just kind of forget about this whole ban. Well, let's go ahead and dive into the chart. Let's just look at the technicals real quick. And I want to throw a couple other interesting numbers your way in terms of total users on the Facebook platform, both in the United States and globally. And then we're going to look at some ranked countries just because I think this will surprise you. I was surprised by how many users Facebook has in countries outside of the US. It was pretty staggering. So let's jump into the charts. Let's take a look at a few more of these numbers and we'll go from there. All right, I got Facebook stock up here on tradingview.com and I just want to take a look at this. I just want to look, I know we touched on the fundamentals real quick, but I also want to look at the technicals just for a second, just to determine what our overall trend is looking like. So I'm way zoomed out on the daily chart here, way, 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 way zoomed out. And all I wanna do first of all is just throw the 200 day simple moving average up. If I put that on, a lot of times that can give you a good indication of if the stock is in fact in an uptrend or is it in a long-term downtrend. And you can see right now that we did have our unwind of 2020. This is Corona. We bounced, popped back up, and then we recaptured the 200 simple moving average and Facebook has kind of moved on ever since. Now, if we zoom in a little bit, you can see, and I'm gonna grab a line here 
And let's take a look at this right here. We sort of had an interesting, I guess you could call it a flag or a wedge for all of you who really like to trade technical analysis. Let me grab another one here. So what we kind of had, and this might not be perfectly drawn, but just to kind of demonstrate this point, you can see that Facebook pushed up really nicely and then it sort of moved sideways and it coiled into a nice tight range and then it exploded out. So if I come back out here and you can see ever since we came out of that range, we came back and retested it, pushed higher, set a higher high, a higher low, a higher high, a slightly higher low and now we're back at all time highs and if I zoom way in, you can now see what's happening today when this Trump ban got announced. Look at what Facebook's doing in response. It's having a really, really strong update. Now, before I say this is all based on the Trump ban, I also want to show you real quick what the SPY is doing. So the SPY is up as well, so that's adding strength to the markets. And then I can also look at the cues for the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is having an unbelievable day. NASDAQ is looking like it's trying to break this previous lower high, which could be really important for people who trade technical analysis, whether you're swing trading, day trading, or long-term investing. So going back to the Facebook chart, we're in a long-term uptrend in, in terms of the 200 simple moving average. We just broke out of this big wedge or bull flag on the daily chart, and we've continued higher. Now this band news comes out, Facebook seems to respond positively, so Facebook looks like it's gonna keep steam rolling ahead. Now I know there are people who have said, I'm quitting Facebook, I'm leaving Facebook, I think it's gonna be the end of Facebook. I know some people who are very, very bearish on it, but here are some interesting numbers that I didn't know, and I wanna show them to you real quick. Or the first question is, and I want you to drop a comment below before I say it, real quick comment for me, how many global users do you think Facebook has? Just drop in the comment real quick. I'll give you two seconds. 2.85 billion users, 2.85 billion users. That is a massive number. So that's worldwide. That blew my mind. And then I thought to myself, how many US users are there? Because we clearly don't have 2.85 billion people in the United States. So I looked this up and how would you think the US is ranked in terms of Facebook users? What are the top five countries? Do you have any idea? Because I had no idea. And again, this blew my mind. So I'm excited to show this to you. But drop in the comments real quick, true or false. The United States has the most Facebook users of any other country. Three, two, one. Right here, check this out. India is number one, first place with 251 million users in India. Next is the United States at 240 million. And then you can see Brazil, Indonesia, and Mexico are taking the next three spots to put out your top five. And I found it interesting that positions three and four both had an excess of 100 million users. So that tells me that the global outlook on Facebook is positive based on technical analysis, its fundamentals, the company health, and its response today to the news about the Trump ban. So when I was thinking about this originally, and tell me if you feel the same way or if you felt the same way, I just thought any news in the US affecting a US company would be sort of contained. So if there's a negative outlook in the US of a certain company, that company could be greatly affected. And I guess that's true if it's a smaller company, but given that India has more users, more active Facebook users than the US, I don't know that they care about the Trump ban. They're not as affected, they're not in the day-to-day -day of it. So I'm kind of wondering if Facebook is going to ignore this ban altogether in terms of stock price and just keep rolling higher. Now, as we looked at those fundamentals, we all have to admit that Facebook is a cash machine. They sell ads, they sell ads, they sell ads, and they just print money. They have very little debt, they have tons of capital, and they just seem likely to steamroll ahead. So my outlook on Facebook right now is that, yes, is it all-time highs? Should it have a pullback? I guess, probably, but that's a 50-50 shot. I can't predict the future. So I would say that if it does put in a pullback, people are probably gonna come back in and start buying it up again. I honestly see Facebook possibly moving beyond its current highs at some point and becoming the likes of, you know, baby Google or baby Amazon, you know, just moving up higher and continuing to print money and just steam engine higher. Again, this is just my opinion, but all indicators are pointing to a lot of health at Facebook, a lot of money at Facebook, and really no slowing down in terms of upward movement. Now, if I zoom out again, I mean, look at this. 
This is an insane trajectory. Facebook spends a lot of its time above the 200 simple moving average. Only during severe sell-offs does it tend to retreat below, but then it bounces and follows the markets right back up. So Facebook's looking really healthy in my opinion. And I told you that if you stayed to the end of the video that I would talk about shares I own and how I like to trade the stock. And I'm gonna flip over here to my Tastyworks platform real quick where I've got Facebook up on this chart, on the daily chart. Now, currently, I don't hold any Facebook shares. I did a while back last year, but I sold them. And the only way that I'm trading Facebook right now is through selling option premium. So I look for premium to climb and then I like to sell puts against it. And this would be a great wheel candidate if in fact it had high enough volatility. Right now you can see the IV rank is at 0.1. So if we look at the IV percentage, so we have the IV rank, which is basically the IV percentage against itself over the last 12 months. It's at zero and IV percentage is at 1.9. So Facebook does not have any volatility right now, which tells me it's not a good candidate for selling premium. Now, if I go to the trade tab and we open up a say 42 day options and we look at it, you're only going to be able to get Say if you sell the 23 Delta put right here, you could probably collect $4.20, but you're gonna have to put up capital on a $310 stock. It seems a little rich, it's not fantastic. Um, if I could get $6 right here, that might be a little more appealing to me, but I also count on mean reversion, reversion to the mean in terms of volatility. When volatility expands, it likes to also deflate after a certain amount of time. So I would be looking at this if it had higher volatility, but it just doesn't. So Facebook is not an options trade for me right now, and I don't have any shares, and I'm definitely not going to be buying any shares with Facebook at this all-time high or near its all-time high. So a pullback would be in order for me to buy shares, and I need to see a spike in volatility in order for me to jump into the options game. So drop me a comment below. I wanna know how you feel the Trump ban is going to affect Facebook. I saw this news this morning. I wanted to put something together for you all and get your thoughts and opinions on this because it's huge news. It's news that's really never happened before. And now we're in the middle of it and we're watching Facebook's response and it's just fascinating. So drop me a comment, let me know your opinion. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you stick around. And if you got any value out of this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. You can join our free Facebook group in the banner of the YouTube channel. And if you also wanna grab a channel membership, you can hit the join button on the banner. That helps out the channel and we'd love to have you stick around. Hope everyone is well. Have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video.